Yeah, that's nothing you expected to see, I guess, but uh, I decided to take you with me on a weekends of diving all the way from the start to the end. So uh, kind of cheated because I packed the car already, but I'll show you what I packed in a minute. Let me finish up shaving and then I'll, I'll take you to uh, I'll take you through what we're gonna go to this weekend. So, got dressed finally, and uh, let me show you what I brought in. Of course, car. to all our nice drinks and food, we're gonna buy in a bag with clothing and sleeping bag. Got a dry box over there with my undergarments, Santi BZ400, BZ200 uh, heating vest. My Eli dry suit in the wet back, bed box over there, uh, a box over there with spares, and a box over there with a spare um, dry suit. It's always good. You never know if you break a seal or something like that. Bunch of tanks, a box with regulators, my Kubi, uh, let me show you those, my Kubi uh, cylinder bags. I recently got those as a friend from a friend, Peter Kubitschka who actually made the Kubi rings and these bags. They're absolutely wonderful. You put your cylinders in there and you carry them much easier. Obviously the rebreather and computer because work never stops. So um, now it's on my way to Copenhagen. It's about a three hour drive from here. I'm meeting up with Casper uh, and I'm gonna fill the cylinders. It's gonna be a lot of filling to do because we're gonna do a uh, reasonably deep dive in in the mine of Tuna Hesberg in Sweden. I got three hours of driving ahead of me, and then tomorrow morning we'll drive straight to Tuna. So I just arrived. Here's Casper, and we're already starting with the filling. Let me show you what we're doing. just arrived it's now about 1 30 in the morning we drove all night we picked up another straggler Espen is over there and in this case we're gonna be sleeping in an old school and this is the gym <laughs> gym hall we're, we're staying at so we're off to bed and uh, tomorrow morning early in the morning we're gonna log all the equipment down into the mine that's gonna be a treat good morning just woke up, had a little run early in the morning down to a lake over here, saw a beaver. I've done many hiking trips here in Sweden, but we just go for hiking and watching the wildlife and elk and stuff. I saw an elk last time we were here for diving, and now I just saw a beaver in the lake. <laughs> I don't know, my, my brother-in-law is going to be upset. <laughs> anyway, time for a heavy shower and then breakfast and then prepare the dive site. Come on! On the road again. Yes. Move it, move Just it. had a nice breakfast, nice coffee, thanks to Casper. Yep. And uh, now we're on the way to the mine site from the school. It's about five minutes. And then when we, can sheet, we can show you what it's like here. It's an adventure. It's called also the Adventure Mine in Swedish, Eventyr Skolvan. And uh, First, we have to put all our equipment onto a big elevator and transport that 80 meters down into the ground. So, stay tuned. All this stuff, lunch. And then down the hole we go.
No, down goes the stuff. 80 meters into the ground. And then we take we take the ecological elevators. <laughs> Is the first part of this adventure. You can probably just see the divers walking down the last part of the stairs and then when we get down there we need to travel a bit further through these halls to uh, to get the equipment to the actual dive site where they get lowered with a winch system even further but I'll show you that in a minute. Now it's like 300 steps to go. Oh. Now when we're down, we have to transport all this stuff all the way down the corridor here. As you can see, it's already an adventure before you even get into the water, walking through these corridors with these mine lights. And you really feel like a miner when you're walking here. Now you can see all the people putting their kit together and this is the winch system we'll use to put all the equipment down on that platform and then when you get down these flights of stairs you can go into the water there I don't know, don't know, don't know. I don't know. trip because there were so many divers getting ready we figured give them some space go and walk a little bit through these hallways Casper has been here quite a few times so he knows some of the history and he's kind of doing his guiding thing all he needs is a clipboard and a follow me sign and then we're we're good to go this is one of these little slides they used to take the ore down into these carts and then move them back out um, to the top side. And you'll see these underwater as well, these little slides. Well, after a nice day of diving, it's back up the stairs. 
in the darkness. It's now day two. We had so much fun on dinner yesterday. We forgot to film, but uh, all the stuff is still in the mine. <laughs> so we're gonna go down to the mine and do another dive. With the rain. With the rain, yes. Back at the mine again. Outside, I mean, this mine is also being used for a lot of normal dry mining tours in the drier parts of the mine. And this is actually quite a nice image. You can see this is the shaft which we go down and this is the dry uh, area uh, where we walked a little bit yesterday. And here's the water level and you can see it going down. This is probably then the 36 meter. We're actually 120 meter under the ground and going further the 50 meter level 74 meter level and then a huge level here and that's 200 meters under the ground 250 meters under the ground or 80 meters so that's um huge and it's even it's even further down here so there's a lot to be explored and a lot that would that's impossible to explore well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little report of the weekend's diving in the mines of Sweden. Um, let me know if you like these kind of videos uh, and we'll put more of these up. And uh, other than that, I'd like to thank you for your time and watching. Uh, remember to share and like this video and our channel and um, see you out there.